Hello, dear viewers. Today we are taking a journey through the treacherous and confusing paths of interpersonal relationships. Our topic is, 9 types of people you need to avoid in your life. How often do we find ourselves in the company of people who turn our lives into a constant turmoil, drain us of energy and negatively affect our well-being? Today we'll look into how these people can consume our inner harmony and how to learn how to avoid them with some smart strategies. Get ready, because our journey is just beginning. Be prepared to open your eyes to the real nature of these nine types of people so that you can easily avoid the twists and turns that can lead us to the crossroads of unnecessary problems. So, turn your attention on and join us on this exciting journey. You may not have realized it, but you are surrounded by negative people on a daily basis, at work, at events, with family and friends. In order to feel joy, happiness, and bubbling energy inside, you need to limit the impact these people have on you. On our journey through life, we encounter a wide variety of people who leave an indelible mark on our lives. While many bring joy, support and positivity, there are some people who can drain our energy, hinder personal growth and disrupt our well-being. Identifying and avoiding these toxic influences is critical to leading a healthy and happy life. Today, we're going to look at 9 types of people you should stay away from to protect your mental and emotional well-being. Type 1, Arrogant People Confidence and arrogance are two completely opposite concepts that have a strong influence on those around you. Confidence is something inspiring, motivating and appealing that is contagious to others. We always perform better when we are surrounded by confident and energetic people, they can really boost our motivation. Together with them we feel that nothing is impossible, we become more motivated and confident. On the other hand, Arrogance is quite a dangerous state that can push people away from us. Arrogant people believe that they always know more and better, they seek to dominate others by putting themselves at the center of everything that happens. They create a sense of their superiority and dislike others by demeaning their opinions and ideas. The difference between these two states is vast. Confidence allows us to grow and develop, it makes us better and more successful. It makes us want to share our experience and knowledge with other people and inspires faith in their own potential and capabilities. At the same time, arrogance kills communication, inhibits growth and development. Such people are not able to listen and take into account the opinion of others, they repel at the expense of their arrogance and intrusiveness. The second type, people victims. There are different types of toxic people in our lives, but some of the most tiresome are victimizers. Always turning away from happiness, they are full of misery and are willing to spill all their problems and negativity onto those around them. They constantly condemn themselves for their mistakes, always finding someone to blame for what is happening. The whole world for them is a source of disasters and troubles. They, however, do not want to take responsibility for their own actions and do not show any interest in development and self-improvement. Instead of learning to learn from their experiences and become better, they prefer to seek sympathy from others with complaints. Soon, communicating with them becomes an endless exercise of consoling them and trying to solve their problems. Be vigilant and do not let such people drag you into their eternal world of tragedies. Don't forget that everyone is responsible for their own lives, and only we can become better if we truly want to. Type 3, People Who Want to Control Everything They seem so smart and know everything better than anyone else. They seem to have all the answers and know how to direct all the processes. However, behind all this power and control, there is insecurity. Yes, these people actually suffer from complex emotional insecurity. The problem with dealing with such toxic people is that you never get a chance to speak up or be heard. When they hear you start to speak, they immediately assume that they already know what you are going to say. 
they don't give you a chance to make your argument or get your point across. Dealing with such people can be detrimental to your well-being and emotional well-being. Constantly feeling their confidence and control over a situation can have a negative impact on your self-confidence and your abilities. As a result, you may begin to doubt your decisions and lower your self-esteem. Therefore, it is important to learn how to avoid these people and protect your emotional stability. Remember that you are entitled to your opinion and the freedom to express it. Don't let anyone break your confidence and depress your thoughts and ideas. However, if you find yourself in a situation where you can't avoid controlling people, try to set clear boundaries. Make it clear that you want to be respected and heard. Protect your freedom of thought and respect yourself. You deserve to live surrounded by people who really listen and respect you. Type 4, Negative People These people don't know how to deal with the stress in their lives. Their emotions stay on the surface and they project their inner state onto those around them. This can be quite destructive to themselves as well as the people in their close circle. They are always complaining about their lives, their jobs, their friends and even the weather. Complaining becomes a habit for them, they don't see the positive side of things and even when they receive something good, they only share problems and negativity. In their presence, people quickly lose their energy and optimism. They constantly seek attention and support from others but bring nothing in return. They are always tired and unhappy, and their emotional charge sucks the energy out of those around them. They are also adept at manipulating others and using their emotions to achieve their goals. They can make you feel guilty even when you haven't made any mistake. Their goal is control and power, and they are willing to go to any lengths to achieve this. What should you do if you encounter negative people? First, conserve your energy and don't fall for their games. Second, limit your communication with such people to a minimum. And third, socialize with positive people who can support and inspire you. Remember, you are entitled to a happy life without negativity and emotional abuse. Avoid people who take away your energy and believe in yourself to live a full and fulfilling life. The fifth type, envious people. Envy is a dark and devastating feeling that constantly etches the soul of the envious person. No matter what successes he himself has achieved, he will always envy others. Envy is the thin thread that prevents them from enjoying life and taking joy in the achievements of others. Why are envious people so unhappy? After all, the world is full of opportunities and each of us is destined to find our place in the sun. But toxic people are immersed in their envy and jealousy. They don't see the successes and joys that life offers them. They look at others, compare themselves to them and feel bitterness and anger. They never see their own accomplishments or appreciate them for what they are. The ability to see beauty and rejoice for others is a sincere sign of a happy person. But envious people live in their own world where happiness is only associated with personal successes and victories. They do not realize that happiness knows many forms and can come to each of us, regardless of our position in society or the level of material well-being. Envious people are those who cannot be happy for others because they often cannot be happy for themselves. They are foot soldiers lost on the road to their own lives. They drown in their own envy and fail to see the true value of every moment every victory that accompanies us on the road to happiness. Type 6, Greedy People We live in a society that makes you want more and wonder how to become a millionaire in the fastest way possible. And that's fine up to a certain point. However, when your only goal is to own everything and you're not interested in the means to achieve it, then it becomes toxic. Those with predominant greed are toxic people who are more interested in conquering everything, where life matters less and less, and they justify their behavior to achieve their goals in the right place. 
Seventh type, people critics. There is a big difference between objective criticism and simply judging and criticizing another person. These toxic people who constantly judge others often draw the wrong conclusions. They are people with biased criteria who look for behaviors in others that reflect who they are. In addition, a person who is always judging is very poor at listening and communicating. Therefore, communicating with them is difficult. You will never be right with them no matter what you say. Type 8, Dream Destroyers Guarding against dream destroyers, people, how important is this? Each of us is familiar with the feeling of being energized when we dive into our dream world and strive to comprehend our goals. We see a vivid picture of the future in front of us, feel freedom from boundaries and are ready to take risks to realize our potential. That's when we are visited by so-called dream destroyers, people who belittle our goals and dreams, suppress our energy and prevent us from achieving our aspirations. Not only do they convince us of impossibilities, but they also try to indoctrinate us with their fears and insecurities. Sometimes they do this sincerely, falling into despair themselves and believing that their interlocutor's intentions are leading him or her down a dead end. But more often than not, dream destroyers simply don't want to see us successful and happy because they themselves have failed to reach those heights. They constantly undermine our ideas, are skeptical of our potential, and rarely inspire change. This can be the cause of our self-doubt, hinder our progression and stunt our growth. It is important to understand how dangerous such negative influences are to our development and why we must guard against dream destroyers. First of all, constant criticism and suppression of ideas make us vulnerable, cause us to doubt our abilities and give up on our dreams. When we are subjected to constant psychological pressure, we may even believe in extreme cases that we are not capable of more, that we don't deserve success and happiness. This is a dangerous state that can lead to a loss of self-confidence. While it is important to guard against dream destroyers, we must realize that it is necessary for our own development and success. We need to surround ourselves with people who inspire us, push us forward and support our growth. They help us see our goals and dreams, even when we begin to doubt them ourselves. They give us the energy to move forward through obstacles and encourage us when we succeed. Their positive impact on our lives is invaluable and helps us turn dreams into reality. So the next time you find yourself among people who don't believe in your capabilities and suggest you settle for little, think about whether you should continue your relationship with them. Sincerely evaluate your dreams and aspirations, and find those around you who support you and inspire you to grow. After all, only then can you truly reach your potential and reach the heights you've always dreamed of. Type 9, Gossipers Dealing with gossipers is like being immersed in a thick, heavy fog that drowns out clarity and blocks our best self. In a world where information travels faster than light, gossipers are becoming an integral part of our lives. They talk about others without any basis, without delving into the truth of what is going on, without thinking about the consequences of their words. Often gossip becomes a means of disguise, a way to hide their own insecurities and fears. They sow discord, destroy trust, and furtively sprinkle poison into our precious relationships. We must find our strength and try to interact as little as possible with those who exhibit toxic behavior on a regular basis. As Omar Khayyam said, do not be afraid of losing those who are not afraid of losing you. The brighter the bridges burning behind you, the brighter the road ahead. We need to guard our energy and keep ourselves mentally and emotionally strong. Moving away from dealing with gossipy people is not only a choice to be a guardian of our energy, but also a step toward self-respect. We have the right to choose an environment that will inspire us, support us, and foster our growth. We deserve an environment of kindness, understanding, and mutual support. 
and sometimes the only way to find that is to cut away the unnecessary, to free ourselves from those who are only pulling us down. And so, we've looked at nine types of people you should avoid in your life to ensure a happy and successful existence. But what do we do if we do encounter them? How do we maintain our positivity and overcome the impact of negative personalities? The first and most important thing is to strengthen your emotional and psychological defenses. Make sure you are clear about your values, confident in your self-esteem, and unaffected by negativity. Treat criticism or angry comments with creative skepticism and consideration. Use them as motivation to move toward your goals, not to stop. Second, learn to set boundaries and honor them. You must know where your responsibility and personal comfort zone ends and strictly enforce those boundaries. If someone tries to invade your life or break your rules, vigorously protect your interests while respecting the rights of others. Third, socialize with people who support and inspire you. Find people who share your values and dreams, and be willing to give even more than you receive. Be open to new acquaintances and opportunities to be surrounded by those who will help and uplift you. And finally, remember that it all starts with you. You have the right to a happy and successful life, and no one is in a position to drag you down without your consent. Avoid these nine types of people, but don't forget that changing yourself and your environment is a matter of time and conscious effort. The process won't be easy but the results are worth every step, every decision, and every victory. Our YouTube channel team hopes that our tips will help you create an environment that supports your growth and harmony. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more helpful information, subscribe to our channel. We look forward to helping you achieve a happy and fulfilling life. Enjoy every moment, Strive for the best, and remember that the choices of those around you affect your life. Thank you for watching and supporting our channel. Subscribe, give us likes and don't forget to share with your friends. Be happy!